Chris from Chris Dello Fitness and I wanted to come to you and share with you my last kind of um, focus on health and well-being. Well, I shouldn't say last because really that's really what I focus on because it's something that I'm very passionate about. And what I want to talk about today is emotions and how emotions can get in the way of you either getting started doing things, it can... Um, those emotions can get in the way once you get started with things and then you get distracted and the emotions stop you from doing some of the things that are our healthy choices um, it could be that emotions um, get in the way and totally distract you and then you completely stop whether it's an exercise program whether it's a nutrition program whether it's focusing on your healthy eating and Emotions play a huge role, in, especially on stress eating and your nutrition. Um, a lot of times, you know, you, you have a plan, you stay focused, you, you have a positive outlook for the day, and then boom, there's something that just gets in the way, and then your emotions change, and then uh, you may be depressed. And when you're depressed and you lack energy, you're not going to do those things that make you feel better and those emotions get in the way. But when you're exercising and you're eating better, you are going to feel healthier. And so it's kind of this roller coaster of up and down, up and down emotions, up and down. Um, yes, I'm focused and I want to feel good and I want to eat good. And then there's that other piece that gets in that, oh, I just want to have fun and I want to live and I want to eat what I want. And so you know, it's like those mind games that um, can happen so often. And Honestly, for me, I'm going to do my exercise every day. I'm not going to look at emotions or anything distract me, but nutrition, I struggle with that more. I, I mean, I eat very well the majority of the time, but I'm really striving to live for balance, to have a balance between eating healthy, but also enjoying life. So if I want to go out for dinner and I really want that dessert, why not? I can have that dessert. I'm not going to eat dessert every single night. Or is it that um, I want to go out and have um, something that I probably shouldn't have, like fried food, like I had fried calamari last night. It was delicious. And part of that is when I go out to dinner um, with either friends or my husband or whoever it may be, that I don't want to take out the fun because that's who I am. I love to have fun, love to have a good time. And some of that is eating is uh, food is surrounds so much of what we do and impacts so much of our social life so um finding that balance of making the right choices but also living your life and it is a big struggle for me and especially being a health and fitness coach i'm i'm trying to set an example i'm trying to inspire others but i also have to be real and um, that's where emotions come into play and how it can totally distract you from living that um, healthy life and and how it can uh, can affect so much and so really finding that balance with um, with your with your with your food with your workouts with your busy life and social life so that you know I, I find a lot of times that I probably don't have um, a lot of the people that you know I maybe would be hanging out with aren't there and um, we don't do that anymore because of maybe who I am and um, kind of a little bit of a health nut but I enjoy that I, it's what I'm passionate about and I feel good every day I feel energized every day and so do emotions get in the way for me absolutely but a couple things that help me stay grounded and help me from going on that up and down roller coaster is I meditate daily I do personal development whether it's listening to audio whether it's a book that's gonna help me stay focused on my goals and my vision and I surround myself with like-minded people that are gonna lift me up, not bring me down. And so if I can stay connected to those people and stay and, and clear my mind of the negativity that can come in, that can distract me from who I am and my goals and what I'm passionate about, that's what I focus on. There are struggles, we all have struggles, we all have things that get in the way, and it's being in that mindset and being um, 
breaking some bad habits so when when those that negativity comes in and when those distractions come in you have a good foundation that's going to help you stay grounded and stay focused on those things so that your emotions don't pull you in so many different directions and bring you further and further away from the goals that are important to you and the life that you want to live so i just wanted to share with you a little bit about um a little bit about what, how, what I struggle with um, sometimes that I certainly am not perfect. I may come on here and seem like, okay, you exercise, you eat well, you do this, you have, you know, you're, you, you go on vacations, you do all kinds of things. And yes, I do. But, you know, behind the scenes, some days I have bad days and I struggle. And, and some days I just want to have a glass of wine or, you know, I feel like having a piece of chocolate. And you know what? I'm not going to deprive myself. I'm going to do that. But I'm also in the mindset that I don't get in a funk with that's all I do is stay in that because I don't feel good when I don't eat right and I don't feel good when I when emotions get in the way and I'm not focused on what what makes me feel good so I just wanted to share a little bit about that if you're struggling with emotions get in the way of you either getting started on a fitness program or um, you know or you struggle with that healthy eating and and you want to make changes to that you know please reach out to me um, and I'd be happy to give you some solutions and some guidelines or just something to get started to kind of keep you on that path to living a healthy life to enjoying your life and feeling good every day and um, you can go to Cristello Fitness and check out my blogs and I will be sharing a little bit more there and I also have a YouTube channel so I appreciate you listening on this lovely Saturday afternoon I am gonna head home I have my list and I have meditation on there that's gonna be the next thing I do I'm gonna read a little bit and then I'm gonna enjoy the rest of the day with my family and working on living for balance so thanks so much have a great day bye